Ronnie's got a far out idea for his tattoo. It shouldn't take too long for Corey to call his bluff. Ronnie? Yeah. Corey, what's going on? Should I get some work? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what I was going to get a, a Clydesdale head on my leg. A Clydesdale head? I'm here today because I'm getting a, a Clydesdale on my leg uh, in memory of one that I had when I was five. So a Clydesdale, huh? Yeah. I, I, I had a, uh, another thing, dude. I wanted to get like a frog riding a Clydesdale. A frog riding and yeah. riding a horse. Yeah. Where, so where do you want to do it? Right on your leg? I think right here. Right on the inside there? Yeah. Just on the back of it? Yeah. Just going. I'm carrying a hat or going something? Out. Cowboy hat? Or? Ahoy Butternuts. Saying Ahoy Butternuts. <laughs> yeah. What the hell does that mean? That's his name. The horse's name. Did you used to have a horse or something? Yeah. I had a horse when I was uh, five named Butternuts. And he died um, eating out of the trash. <laughs> He, he had a trash. <laughs> I can't, I can't. You know what? He died because he, he ate out of the trash and he had a heart attack. Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the frog represent? Uh, there's this uh, Muppet show and I wanted uh, to sing like him, so. so. Hey, man. Dreams come true in tattoo shops. As silly as the tattoo seems, he still came up with that idea. It's, it's kind of funny. It's on the edge. It seems like a pretty creative guy. I'm going to go ahead and sketch up a couple things. Cool, man. If you want, why don't you actually have a seat on the couch? more comfortable. Cool, man. Thanks a lot, man. Hoy Butternuts? Yeah. A-H-O-Y Butternuts! Exclamation point. That's, that's cool. <laughs> come to me with this real thought out plan with lots of information and pictures and references and I respect it when people come in prepared but you know what I kind of really look forward to the challenge of someone that just blows through the door man he's got a trippy idea I guess it's some type of tribute to a dead horse or maybe he's a Japanese uh, sumi style painting for the frog reference and pretty much he don't care what he's getting it's up to me to kind of get down and do him something cool. I'm the artist. I'll get creative and uh, impress him, I hope. Ronnie, let's cruise over here. We're going to fit him right in there. Cool. Right on. I dig it. Let's go. Cool. Here goes our tribute to Butternut. Right on. So what's the story with the, the horse, man? When I, when I was five, I had a horse named Butternuts. And then when I turned eight, and he died eating out of the trash. <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh. That's OK. So how did that go down? What, you just had the horse found it? You go out there, and you find it? Yeah, he found it dead with a pizza in his mouth. <laughs> with a pizza in his mouth, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Was he all swollen, or was he just, like, dead? He was smiling with pizza in his mouth. Hey, well, that's a good way to go, man. He was stoked. He was stoked. Hey, pigs, uh, check out Butternut. Look what we're doing here. Butternut died eating a piece of pizza out of the trash when he was a kid. And the, the, the horse got in the trash and died. What, did he choke on it? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! You sure this wasn't, like, a, a nightmare or a... Or maybe a dude, if you're gonna tell a story, you can. I mean, it's a good story, but if you're gonna lie, you gotta be a good liar. Dude, that might have been some devastating story. It could happen. Pizza is not gonna kill a horse, dude. Did you really have a horse that died? No. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I didn't think it was a fake story, but then he started telling us that it died from eating a piece of pizza. It was pretty obvious that he was full. Of oh man, I was getting into this. You really. F Believe that? No. <laughs> this is just for a memory for a joke. I guess I'm a little more naive than I thought. I'm not that naive. I'm just kind of joking, going along with it. Because, you know, it's kind of funny. I think it's a cool idea anyway. I like the frog riding the horse. I embraced it, man. Yeah. It's good. I don't care if it's a story or not. I think I hit uh, Ronnie's idea on the head. I think I took care of him. I think I gave him what he wanted. It's kind of a good thing you can crack yourself up once in a while. Yeah. Sometimes people need to laugh instead of cry, or just they just rather look at the goofy side instead of looking at the darkness. And that 
It's good, man. Everything don't have to be so damn serious. All righty, dude. There's butternuts. Cool, man. It looks great. <laughs> it looks good, man. Yeah. I don't get to do something like that every day. I really like my new tattoo that came out. Corey's a lot better than any tattoo artist I've ever seen. I think he nailed it the best it could have been. I like the frog's little uh, six-shooter holster he's got. I think he added that in there, his own idea. This tattoo is going to be an inside joke forever. I think we're just going to laugh about it every time we think of it or see it. All right, Ronnie. Oh, uh, thanks man. a lot for the tat, man. Cool, yeah. Good luck. You have fun uh, jamming. Bye, Pixie. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. I'll see you guys. Take it easy, Ronnie. Butternuts.